Crash Bandicoot 1, also known as just Crash Bandicoot, is a platform game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation console in 1996. The game is the first installment in the Crash Bandicoot series. Crash Bandicoot features Crash, the main character, who must overcome a series of platforming obstacles and defeat bosses to reach the laboratory of the villainous Dr. Neo Cortex. To earn gems, players need to complete levels by smashing all the crates and finishing without losing a life. Additionally, they can obtain another gem by completing levels within a specified time limit during the time trial mode. Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back is a platforming game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. It was released for the PlayStation in 1997 and is the second game in the Crash Bandicoot series. The game follows the adventures of the titular character, Crash Bandicoot, as he sets out to stop his arch-nemesis, Dr. Neo Cortex, from taking over the world. The game features a variety of environments, such as snowy mountains, dark caves, and futuristic laboratories. Crash Bandicoot Warped is a platforming game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. It was released for the PlayStation in 1998 and is the third game in the Crash Bandicoot series. The game continues the story of Crash Bandicoot as he travels through time and space to stop the evil Dr. Neo Cortex and his minions from altering history. The game features a variety of levels, each set in a different time period or location, such as the prehistoric era, medieval times, and even outer space. Crash Team Racing is a kart racing game developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. It was released for the PlayStation in 1999 and is a spin-off from the Crash Bandicoot series. The game features characters from the Crash Bandicoot series, such as Crash, Coco, and Dr. Neo Cortex, as they compete in races across various tracks filled with obstacles and power-ups. The game includes a variety of modes, such as Adventure, Time Trial, and Battle, as well as a multiplayer mode for up to four players. Crash Bash is a party game developed by Eurocom and published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PlayStation console in 2000. The game features a variety of minigames, including races, battles, and puzzles, which can be played with up to four players. In Crash Bash, players choose from eight different characters from the Crash Bandicoot universe, each with their own unique abilities, and compete in a variety of challenges. The game features several modes, including adventure, battle, tournament, and time trial, each with its own set of minigames. Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex is a platforming game developed by Traveler's Tales and published by Universal Interactive Studios. It was released for the PlayStation 2, Xbox, and Nintendo GameCube in 2001 and is the fourth game in the Crash Bandicoot series. The game follows the story of Crash Bandicoot as he sets out to stop the evil Dr. Neo Cortex and his allies from taking over the world. The game features a variety of levels, each set in a different location, such as a snowy landscape, a futuristic city, and a volcanic island. Crash Bandicoot The huge adventure, known as Crash Bandicoot XS in Europe, is a platforming game developed by Vicarious Visions and published by Universal Interactive Studios. It was released for the Game Boy Advance in 2002. The game follows the story of Crash Bandicoot as he sets out to stop the evil Dr. Neo Cortex and his allies from using a new invention called the Minimizer to shrink the Earth. The game features a variety of levels, each set in a different location, such as a jungle, an Egyptian tomb, and a futuristic city. Crash Bandicoot 2 Entranced the eighth installment in the Crash Bandicoot series is a platform game that was created by Vicarious Visions and released by Vivendi Universal Games in 2003 for the Game Boy Advance. The game follows the story of Crash Bandicoot as he sets out to stop the evil and trance from taking control of the multiverse. The game features a variety of levels, 
each set in a different location, such as a space station, a prehistoric jungle, and a futuristic city. Crash Nitro Kart is a kart racing game developed by Vicarious Visions and published by Universal Interactive Studios. It was released in 2003 for multiple platforms, including the PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, and Game Boy Advance. The game follows the story of Crash Bandicoot and his friends as they compete in a racing tournament organized by the evil Emperor Velo XXVI. The game features a variety of tracks, each set in a different location, such as a futuristic city, a prehistoric jungle, and a space station. Crash Bandicoot Purple, Ripto's Rampage, which is a platform game that involves both the Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon franchises, was created by Vicarious Visions and published by Vivendi Universal Games. It was released for the Game Boy Advance in 2004. The game features a story where Dr. Neo Cortex and Ripto have teamed up to take over the worlds of Crash Bandicoot and Spyro the Dragon. The game consists of several platforming levels, which are split between the two franchises, and features a variety of enemies and obstacles for the player to overcome. Crash Twin Sanity, which is the 11th game in the Crash Bandicoot series, is a platform game that was developed by Traveler's Tales and published by Vivendi Universal Games. It was released in 2004 for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox consoles. The game follows Crash Bandicoot and his arch-nemesis Dr. Neo Cortex as they are forced to team up to stop the evil drive-in, Trophy from taking over the world. The game features a variety of platforming levels, as well as puzzles and boss battles, and is set in a variety of locations, including a jungle, an arctic wasteland, and a haunted mansion. Crash Tag Team Racing is a racing game developed by Radical Entertainment and published by Vivendi Universal Games for multiple gaming platforms, including PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube, and PlayStation Portable. It was released in 2005 and is the third racing game in the Crash Bandicoot series. The game features a combination of racing and platforming elements, with players able to switch between driving and running on foot to explore the game's levels and complete objectives. In addition to the traditional racing modes, Crash Tag Team Racing also features a unique, clashing, mechanic, which allows players to combine their vehicles and weapons to create more powerful and versatile machines. Crash Boom Bang is a party game developed by Dimps and published by Sierra Entertainment for the Nintendo DS. It was released in 2006 and is the first and only Crash Bandicoot game developed exclusively for the DS. The game features a variety of mini-games that can be played with up to four players, both locally and online. Players compete to collect crystals and complete various challenges across a range of different levels. The game also features a single-player adventure mode, which sees Crash and his friends exploring a world map and competing in various challenges to collect crystals. Crash of the Titans is a platforming game developed by Radical Entertainment and published by Sierra Entertainment for multiple platforms including PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, Wii, Nintendo DS and others. It was released in 2007 and is the 14th installment in the Crash Bandicoot series. In the game, the main antagonist Dr. Neo Cortex has mutated the creatures of Crash's island and has captured his sister Coco and the other mutants. Crash must embark on a journey to defeat Cortex and his minions, while also battling various mutants along the way. The game features a new combat system where Crash can take control of mutated enemies and use their unique abilities to defeat other enemies. Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart 3D is a kart racing game developed by Polarbit and published by Vivendi Games Mobile. It was released in 2008 for iOS devices such as the iPhone and iPod Touch and is the first Crash Bandicoot game to be released exclusively for mobile platforms. The game features various characters from the Crash Bandicoot series racing against each other on different tracks filled with obstacles, power-ups, and shortcuts. Players can choose from a variety of modes including Quick Race, Time Trial, and Career Mode, which allows players to unlock new characters, carts, and tracks as they progress. 
Crash. Mind Over Mutant is an action-adventure platforming game developed by Radical Entertainment and published by Activision. It was released in 2008 for various platforms including PlayStation 2, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii, and is the 15th installment in the Crash Bandicoot series. In this game, players control Crash and his ally Aku Aku as they fight against the evil Dr. Neil Cortex and his new army of mutants. The game features an open-world environment with interconnected levels that players can explore, and also includes various puzzles, mini-games, and boss battles. Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart 2 is a kart racing game developed by Polarbit and published by Activision. It was released for iOS devices in 2010, and is the sequel to Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart 3D. In the game, players can choose to race as one of several characters from the Crash Bandicoot series, such as Crash, Coco, or Dr. Neo Cortex. The game features a variety of tracks, power-ups, and customizable kart options, and includes both single-player and multiplayer modes. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled is a kart racing game developed by Beanox and published by Activision. It is a remastered version of the original Crash Team Racing game that was released in 1999 for the PlayStation. Nitro Fueled was released in 2019 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch. The game features updated graphics, improved controls, new characters, tracks, and carts. The gameplay follows the same mechanics as the original game, where players race against each other on various tracks while collecting power-ups and weapons to gain an advantage over their opponents. Crash Bandicoot, on the run, is a mobile game developed by King and published by Activision. It was released for iOS and Android devices in March 2021. In the game, players control Crash Bandicoot as he runs through various levels, collecting Wampa fruit and battling bosses. The game features classic Crash Bandicoot characters and enemies, as well as new ones created for the game. Players can also team up with friends to take on challenges and earn rewards. Crash Bandicoot 4 It's About Time is a platforming game developed by Toys for Bob and published by Activision. It was released for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Microsoft Windows in October 2020. The game is a direct sequel to Crash Bandicoot 3, warped and follows Crash and his sister Coco as they try to stop the evil Dr. Neo Cortex and drive in. Trophy from taking over the multiverse. The game features new levels, playable characters, and gameplay mechanics, as well as returning features such as the ability to collect gems and relics by completing challenges. Crash Team Rumble is a soon-to-be-released action game that revolves around team gameplay, and it is being developed by Toys for Bob and published by Activision. It is expected to be launched on June 20, 2023, and will be playable on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. S. The game is a multiplayer action game where two teams of four players each compete to collect Wumpa fruit and capture key points on the map. Each character has their own set of skills and abilities that are suitable for specific roles on the team. There are three different roles to choose from. Scorers who gather Wumpa fruit and deposit it into their team's bank. Blockers who defend the goals and stop the opposing team from scoring and boosters who activate gem platforms and collect relics to unlock power-ups.